Hello, everybody. On to part four of Mirage, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's a little bit too loud for my taste. Don't want it overpowering the microphone after all. So, part four of Mirage, hooray. Let's uh, see where this goes. I'm just going to ignore the side quest because at this point, unlike the other worlds, when you make a... the side quests don't matter at all. They'll... you'll get to max level long, long before you get the... before you beat the world. Unlike in the old Din days where you had to make sure you did side quests You'd never reach max level. It's actually kind of funny now because now what I'm doing on my Life Wizard, I've done all the side quests that I possibly can. So far, the only one I haven't had done is Zigzag. And up to Celestia, at least. So yeah, I've gotten... All the quests done. All the side quests done. Oh my god! I really did make it to 7,000. That's something I remember from the last video. I made it to 7,000. You spot a lone, undead soldier standing atop one of the dunes. Perhaps she knows whether the dark genie and overlord... Wait, how do you know it's a... She? Oh, this is interesting now. I can't wait to see what this actually does, because, as I said, I have not done any of this. This, birds, bones, and undead soldiers bumbling about. It's like some kind of joke, but no, it's real. Xerxes is back. And get this. He expects us to help him conquer Mirage all over again. No, thanks. I served in his army in life. In death, I deserve a break. Well, my squad marched off, so I just deserted. But why are you here? Irkala is back as well? Figures. It will be just like old times with those two. Look, you want to know more about what's happening? Well, help an old soldier out, and I'll help you get to the bottom of this. When I deserted my squad and made a run for it, these gulches swooped down and took my insignia. Get my insignia back and will. You know, I would do this, but there's a boss down there. I can't really risk it, so. Going with the boss deck for this. So I can't really risk it. That hurt. Here comes a trap. Oh no, stun. Let's see what this baby can do. So yeah, sorry for the flaky uploads for like ever, I really do need to find a way to get myself into an actual rut in filming these every day when I get home from work, because that's the moment I'm able to afford this. Let's see how much this one can do. After, what is it? Once you get out of the city, or like halfway through the city about, that's where I like, kind of gave up in the test room, because I'm like, I'm not going to be able to beat this by the time it comes to live, and so it's just not really worth it.
it really wasn't that worth it because I would have just I was just gonna wind up having to do it again in live so that's that's one of the reasons why I kind of don't like doing test drums nowadays because I mean yeah they're really fun and I am really excited to see what Impria brings I think it might just I kind of hope that Impria actually gives a what is it not spell quests not like attack spells but like one thing I'm hoping that they do with it that pisses me off about all the shadow spells except for Rasalka's Wrath. All of the shadow spells, in my opinion, aren't truly shadow spells. Shadow spells are supposed to have backlash, and the only one that has backlash or some sort of negative aspect to it is Empria. Or not Empria, uh, not Empria, what was it? Rasalka. Rasalka's Wrath. That's the only one that has any sort of backlash to the attack. Every single other one is absolutely perfect and overpowered, even. Rasalka has the ability to... I got popcorn in my eye. Or salt, at least. Rasalka is the only one that has a possibility of a negative one, so that is the only true shadow spell. And I want King's Owl... It's way too late for them to go back. I think it's been, like, two years. I have to go look it up. I'll... It's been like a year or something. It's been a year or something since... Let me go look that up on my phone, actually. Give me a second. It's been three years. It has been three years since we got our first Shadow Spells in Darkmoor. Oh my god, it's been forever. Three years and only two worlds. Wow. So, yeah. They have to go back and uh, fix it, in my opinion. There is or they can't go back and fix it. That's what I must say. With something in your pocket for so many centuries, it feels like a part of you. Just one more favor I must ask, and then I'll help you. There was once a colossus here, a giant statue, a tribute to some forgotten king. Mockery over Lord Xerxes tore down the statue and built his barrows here. Xerxes and his generals are entombed up in the necropolis. Rank and file soldiers like me were buried under the arm. We were resurrected, and like I said, my squad was deployed, but I stayed behind. I don't want any part of this. I just want to go back into the barracks, go into the barracks barrow, convince the barracks guardian to let me back in, and I'll help you figure out what's going on here. She is a me seeks. She is a me seeks. I can't take it anymore. I just want to die. <laughs> Anyways, what was I saying? Oh yeah, all the shadow spells are horrible. All of them. They're all. Entirely. Or not entirely. Let me rephrase that. They're good as spells. When it, but as shadow spells, they're horrible. They are not shadow. The old, shadow is supposed to hurt the person that's using it, not just give them a giant buff. I mean, I know that's kind of nitpicking because... If this, okay, this is Mirage, why is he Australian? What? I have no words, really. I guess he's Australian, then. Fine by me. We got an Australian skeleton in the middle of an Arabic tomb.
That's fine by me. I don't even. I don't even care. We got. He's just. He's just Australian. That, that's fine by me. It doesn't even matter. Oh yes! Thank goodness. Okay, so his is actually a Mirage wand. I did not remember, th or not Mirage, Polaris wand. I did not even know that. It's been so long since I've changed his gear. Just to get rid of the minion. Even though I probably could have taken out the boss attack, but whatever. Actually, no, I probably couldn't have. It would have been difficult. To t yeah, it would have been impossible to take him out with that one spell. But it'll get rid of the minion, at least. I actually tried drawing this guy once. It turned out horrible. I don't even have the... Well, it would have done a decent chunk of damage to him, at the very least. It's amazing how mature this game has gotten since its infancy, and it, and it is very apparent when you're playing through it as a, when you go up through the game, you can just feel it getting more mature, you can feel the game changing as you get up. I mean, actually you can't really feel it, it's just like a giant jump when you get once you get into Celestia is when it starts to get more mature and feel different than it was. I should probably close this. Uh, sorry for that. Anyways, what was I saying before? I keep going off on tangents. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. So yeah, what I want King's Owl to do is to either A, give us some shadow buff things that are like shadow utility spells that can help us which I think they're actually doing because there's a new shadow spell coming out shadow teacher coming so there's the new shadow teacher coming so hopefully that person will give us some good shadow spells that actually have backlash I mean, I kind of don't like the system of backlash. I like, I clearly love these shadow spells. I really do love them. They are amazing. But I just really want them to be actually shadow and have some sort of downfall because as they are, I don't even play. I don't think I'm coming at this from like a PvP or perspective because I do not play PvP at all. PvP is incredibly boring for me. And I know that's probably going to get a lot of people upset, but it's just my opinion on it. PvP doesn't appeal to me, so this is not me saying, oh my god, these spells are too overpowered for PvP. Maybe they are, maybe they are. What? Two weapon casts in one battle? On the only two wand spells that I actually cast? Oh my god. Oh, this is about Siri. I knew she was a deserter. The punishment for desertion is death. So fine. I'll let her return to her sarcophagus. Are you kidding me? <sighs> oh, it's only been fourteen minutes. We got that was an easy boss fight. We can maybe do one more. Or one more level quest thing. You know, eventually I might just make one long video like like Mirage Ultra Cut and go through as much as I possibly can tolerate in one sitting for about two hours.
You helped me out, so it's my turn. Many dervish soldiers have marched out, but Overlord Xerxes is still up in the necropolis. If you want to confront Xerxes and stop him before he causes any real harm, there's something right here in the barrows that can help. You see the base of the broken statue? That's an old crypt that predates the Persian Empire. Something in there was a threat to Xerxes. An artifact, maybe? I'm not sure. Read the inscription on the base to unseal the crypt, and then go inside and search. I hope it helps. I wish I could do more for you, but frankly, I'm just not supposed to be on this side of the sand. All I can say is thanks, and good luck. <laughs> Okay, that was funny. I don't know why it was, but it was kind of funny. Okay, now S Stefan gets to pick up this one. And I get to pick up this one. Centuries of sunlight and desert winds have obscured the inscription, but you can still make out the name Mandius and some kind of quote. The quote reads, I am king of kings. Look on my work, ye mighty, and despair. When you read the words aloud, the crypt is unseen. Though it was once a grand mausoleum, the crypt has been heavily defiled. The sarcophagi have been opened, and bones are strewn about. If there was anything of value in here, it seems unlikely that it would remain. You should still look around, just in case. I forgot what this guy sounds like. Sockets deceive me, or, or is that a living, breathing being? Yes, you. You with the skin and robes and whatnot. Do you have a minute? That voice sounds familiar. I can't quite place where it's from, though. I think it's British, maybe? Can't believe it. You walk right in like it's no big deal. A real, live person. I'd say pinch me, but there's nothing to pinch, is there? So yeah, we'll bring you down here. Not much left to loot. All the fancy royal sarcophagi were smashed centuries ago. Nothing left of those guys, not a trace. It's just me, and nobody who happened to get stuck in here. Wrong place, wrong time, that kind of thing. So, this is neat, meeting like this, face to skull, isn't it? I, I wonder, maybe you could give me a hand, seeing as I don't have one, right? Maybe we can trade? Surely you need something. You're looking for Overlord Xerxes. He's been resurrected, has he? That's great. Yeah. I mean, how's that fair? Xerxes destroys the world, and now he gets, what, a second chance? What an unlucky guy like me gets left down here. So, are you looking for a secret weapon to stop Xerxes? What if I said it was me? Yeah, it's true. I'm the secret weapon. You'll see. I just need one thing. Next door, in the Tomb of the Forgotten, there's a vizier named Rafage. Get me his magic gemstone, and we'll stop Xerxes. I feel like I'm being lied to, but I have no reason not to trust this talking skull, so... Okay. I feel like... I kind of feel like you're not telling me the truth, or the entire truth there, Ozzy, but... I have, I kind of have no choice. I mean, I want to beat the world, so... Well, I don't want to beat the world. I want to... You know what I mean. I don't want to beat up the planet. That I'm not Superman. Or am I?
The tomb lives up to its name. No one's passed through this chamber in centuries, except the dune buggies who don't seem very friendly. Gonna ride a dune buggy through the sand. Gonna ride. This person's already. Yep, they're already max level. That's gonna hurt. Well, at least they're not saving. I'm not going to say it. Not going to say it. Don't want to say it. So at least definitely my frost. So my frost wizard, my ice wizard will take out the shields, and then my fire wizard will just decimate them. And uh, for what I'm doing, in case you've noticed with like all my wizards so far, the few that I've posted on here, I am breaking out like a balance between them where I have one wizard, of course, where I have one, two wizards of opposite schools going through. So for example, the ice and the fire with this, and then the storm and the myth with my other and with my life wizard, I'm bringing that one up for working with my death wizard, which you saw a little while ago, doing his uh, skeletal dragon quest. Which is, that's what he was in, yeah. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Oh, mama. It's amazing how bugs can have so much health. You're free to go deeper into the tomb. Oh boy, now it's my eye fire. <laughs> and now it's my turn to equip the mass prism. This is okay. So Tamaris and Verastadis. Uh, 
But no, gotta. Let's teach him a lesson. There we go. So this will definitely be the last time to get this is going to be my longest Mirage video. Okay, so it didn't block the critical on the first hit, but it blocked it on the second, so that's good. Just give me my bull so I can end them. I actually never thought that that spell would come in handy. Or that talent would come in handy. Color me impressed, that spell actually did come in handy. Be more handy if it were a tower shield, but still. I should mention that I have that pet equipped because it gives me a damage boost. And that's the only reason. And here comes. They just, people in Mirage just love the bats. It's a good thing that Marcus here has a potion. I will say for certain there has been a definite uptick in difficulty from Polaris to Mirage, but it's been a major downtick from the Rasputin difficulty, so... So that's good. A little bit late on that. What do we care if someone loots a place? Not like we have anything to lose. Let's just return to our rest. And this will be the bot last boss fight of the night. It is the right deck, right? Yep, that's the right deck. Haha! I knew Xerxes wouldn't raise me and then leave me here. I was his chief advisor. He's testing me. He sent you so I can prove myself. Sure thing, buddy. Sure thing, buddy, old pal. Tip for all you future streamers, lock your doors.
This is gonna hurt. Or not. Okay. I guess no traps then. Or no. I guess he just puts an equal trap then. And an equal blade. I'm not the one attempting to. That's also another problem of relying on shadows. Oh my god. Okay, Pat, anytime you'd like to. I don't remember fighting this. Did I? I know I beat this guy at one point. Are you kidding me? Still nothing. I love my pet now. I use it on the wrong spell, of course. I'm surprised that did as much damage as it did. I was expecting it to do a lot less. Oh my god. Please just give me a 
Finally. Please tell me I selected the right person. And of course, they're still not dead. Well, at least the ice mini will be gone, so now I don't worry about that anymore. At least he should be gone. Are you kidding me? He's still alive? Oh, great. It's amazing how both of these wizards have both about the same amount of health. Around the same amount of health. Blah, blah, blah.
Of course. This is a really long, this is a longer battle than I thought it would be. Please don't kill, 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 please don't kill. I am almost out of health on that guy. I gotta be careful. Okay, so the combined of all three of our spells should be in... Yeah, definitely enough now. <laughs> Thanks for that. Thank you for doing that. It just made it a whole lot easier to get rid of you. Way too easy to get rid of you, actually. I did not expect it to do that much damage. You're right, it is. I'm gonna turn in this quest and power down my computer before it overheats. That's one of the main reasons I try and actually keep this low. That and also I don't want to overwhelm people with too much, but if I keep this computer running for too long it will overheat because it is a laptop and it's the only thing I have with a microphone. At least I'm leveling up pretty quick. This is what I was talking about. I am already almost level 112. I did not expect to be saying number 12 in this game again. At least not in the concept at least not without the pre not without the suffix of pips. But that was a difficult boss fight. You came back for me. That's the most generous act around here in centuries. So that's it, is it? The magic gem of levitation. Right then, I'll need you to lend me another hand. Would you mind putting the gem into my eye socket? Grizzly, I know, but I'm serious. Go on. You mean it really worked? Stupendous! Oh dear, look at this place. And I thought it looked a mess from down there. It's worse than I imagined. But why complain? Just to be able to move again to turn my head. It's such a blessing. And I mean that. I really do. So, this is good for you. Got yourself a guide, haven't you? No one knows Mirage like I do. Know it like I know that wall over there. Unfortunately, this is Oz we're gonna build a... This is all we get to do tonight because, as I said, my computer is about to overheat, and I do not want that to happen. So thank you all for watching. This has been Stefan Frostrider bringing you part four of Mysterious Mirage Walkthrough. I hope you all enjoyed. I would look forward to seeing you in the future. This is Stefan Frostrider signing off. Peace.